Hi guys, this is your girl Hilda back again with more tips on how to make money online. So today I want us to talk about how to get free traffic to your affiliate links. How to get free traffic to your affiliate links. So just today, so yesterday I received this amount that is $228 simply uh, I made this money from using free traffic so this affiliate product which I was promoting I used free traffic so you see this money was sent to me on September 14th and all this money this $228 I made it simply by using free traffic and that's why we are going to talk about um, a cheap or one of the best free traffic source for your affiliate links okay so before we can talk about that i want to remind you to subscribe that is if you've not the kind of content we talk about in this channel is tips related to making money online by affiliate marketing blogging cpa marketing and any random tip on how to make an extra income online again uh, i try to publish a video every day or every two days so it would help if you turn that notification so that you get notified every time i publish a new video and it will also be very useful if you could leave me a comment telling me if you find this video useful or asking a question or just offering any type of feedback feel free to just uh, engage in the comment section again if you like this video like it or press that like thumbs up and also you can share it to a friend who will also find it useful so we're just going to get into this that is me showing you a step-by-step -step strategy that i used to get free traffic to my affiliate links which enabled me to make that 228 dollars so remember i didn't pay for anything and this is totally beginner friendly you don't need any um I mean any like so deep or so technical skills to get started this is totally easy and can be done by anyone from any part of the world okay so for now we're going to look at step number one that is get your affiliate product so remember we are talking about how to promote your affiliate links free so we're talking about how to promote your affiliate links for free so definitely this is a strategy for affiliate marketing so to get started you need an affiliate product so in my case what i was promoting or the company that sent me this money is this proofread anywhere so we are just going to go to google and search and search here proofread anywhere this so proofread anywhere is basically a website for proofreaders who want to become uh, who want to, uh, I mean, grow their skills with proofreading. And really what I was promoting is this, this um, free workshop, this free workshop. So it's a free workshop where people join to know whether they are perfect for proofreading, how proofreading can help them, and also teach them how to attract clients, okay? So if this is a 76-minute free workshop. But after someone completes the workshop and finds that there is value within the workshop, what Caitlin does is that she sells her courses. So she has courses, that is the general proofreading course and the transcript proofreading course. So when people buy now those courses, that's when I earn a commission. And that's how that amount came about. Okay, so this is the course I was simply promoting. And to begin promoting, you're simply going to visit Proofread Anywhere. And then you're going to scroll down to the footer and then you're going to look for where it says affiliates. So I'm looking for where it says affiliate. You seem can't find it, but you can go to Google and search proofread anywhere affiliate. Proofread anywhere affiliate, this affiliate portal. And then you're going to do up here sign up sign in sign up here so what you're going to do is you're going to fill this form you give your email 
um, you're simply going to fill that uh, sign up form. Once you're approved, you should be able to get your affiliate link, which you can begin promoting. Okay, so this is just an example of an affiliate product I was using. So what I would encourage you to do is go to my YouTube channel, Hilda Mwende. Go to my YouTube channel, Hilda Mwende. And then you're going to go watch this video, this best affiliate programs for beginners. Okay, you're going to watch this video and see other affiliate programs where you will be approved instantly, which you can start promoting. So watch this video, best affiliate programs for beginners to see which other affiliate programs or product you can get approved instantly with no skills from any country. Even if you're a true beginner, you'll get approved to this affiliate program. So that's step number one get the affiliate product so i had the affiliate product which was that proofreading course number two is create a landing page okay i keep saying and i will keep saying once again in most places where i promote my affiliate links it is not allowed for me to go copy my affiliate link then go spamming around sharing it everywhere no uh for me the places i promote my landing pages it's very advisable for me to have a landing page okay and for me my landing pages by now you should have known that my landing pages are blog posts so what i did is i came and created this blog post that is proofread anywhere review so what i was just writing is a review of that course proofread anywhere and i went answered like who is who is behind proofread anywhere how much does proofread anywhere cost I also wrote about um, Proofread Anywhere reviews. What do people say about Proofread Anywhere? Is Proofread Anywhere scam? Um, Proofread Anywhere controversy? Proofread Anywhere frequently asked questions. So I just went ahead and wrote this review of Proofread Anywhere. This is just a blog post I wrote. And um, this within this blog post, I'm adding my affiliate link. Okay, so anywhere I'm mentioning affiliate or anywhere I'm mentioning anything related to proofreading, I add my affiliate link. So you see, so that way, when someone clicks on those affiliate links, they will be taken to this page whereby they can, or this page, whereby they can get to purchase the course. That way, I earn the commission, like I've showed you, the money sent to me. Okay, so that's really step number to create a landing page. And if you don't want to really manage a blog fully, other platforms where you can write a post like this include, you can go write a review on Medium, this medium.com, or you can go write the review on Google site. So all these are authoritative sites whereby if you wrote a post, it will also rank well on Google or even you can use LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has this feature where you can create posts on LinkedIn, okay? So these are the other three platforms. You don't have to own a personal blog where you write such content, but you just simply can go publish the same review on Medium, on Google Sites, or on LinkedIn. But I would prefer that you build your own blog from scratch. Yes, it won't make money immediately, but at least if you get consistent at building it, in six months' time, it will at least begin to generate some income back to you. So if you want to really get started on your journey of building a blog, I would encourage you that you go to this video which you're watching, then on the description, you're going to check out this course. My blogging course is Make Money Blogging. And in this course, just if you give your name and your email address, you should get my book where I explain a detailed step-by-step -step process on how to make money with a blog, how to get started, what the steps you need to do, what you need to learn, everything that you need to learn in, you, in your journey of building a blog, this book will teach you. So that's what I encourage you to do, get my free blogging course so that you learn tips on how to make money with a blog. So that's step number two, build a landing page. And I've given you alternatives. Again, if you don't want to use a blog or a website, 
go to my YouTube channel and search affiliate, search affiliate marketing without, without, without a website. So if you go search that, then you will find this video, how to do affiliate marketing without a website. So you'll get other alternatives on how to do affiliate marketing without a website, okay? That is if you don't want to do the blogging way on these platforms, either your personal blog, either on Medium, either on Google Sites, either on LinkedIn. If you don't want to do the blogging strategy, there are other alternatives on how to build a landing page on other platforms, and you can go watch this video to learn more about that okay so that step after you complete that step on creating a landing page the next thing you want to do now is promote your landing page so remember we are talking about how to drive free traffic to your affiliate links and the platform that you're going to use is quora okay so the platform that is going to drive us that free traffic is quora this quora quora so that's the platform we're going to use. And in this platform, we're going to answer questions related to proofreading. Remember, our product is in proofreading. So we are going to answer questions related to proofreading. But if maybe you had a product or if you are promoting a product in weight loss, you would have answered questions in the weight loss niche. But for now, we're going to answer questions related to proofreading. So what you want to do now, or what I'll recommend you to do on so that you learn more about how to use um, affiliate links on Quora, I want you to go to this channel, and then you're going to look for a video with this thumbnail. This thumbnail, Quora Affiliate Marketing, the do's and don'ts. That's the thumbnail you're going to look for, and watch that video so that you understand how to use affiliate links on Quora or how to do affiliate marketing on Quora. So that's what I would encourage you to do on this step, to know exactly uh, what are the do's and don'ts when using affiliate links on Quora or how do you maximize the potential of getting more traffic from Quora to your affiliate links, okay? So the video is not yet published as of now, as I'm recording this video. But by the time I'm publishing this video, you will find this video. So you're going to look for this thumbnail and look for a video on this Quora affiliate marketing so that you learn how to use affiliate links on Quora. Okay. So after you're done that, you can now go to this step. And I want to share with you just general tips on how to succeed on affiliate marketing on Quora. And tip number one is that to make your answer stand out, you need to add an image, okay? Let me show you an example of answers that I have done. Let me show you an example. So, if you look at my answers, I always add an image. An image is like this. The reason is to make your answer stand out. Look at this. I added an image. Look at this. Image, image image so the reason why you're going to add images is to make your answer to stand out that is um people that are just scrolling through large text on quora and they get to see your image they will uh, be attracted by your image and want to click to read your answer so that's tip number one and the tool i use to create that image is this canva i simply go went to canva uh, Canva. This is a free tool. You're not going to pay to use it. It's totally a free tool. Canva. And I simply created that image here using Canva. I don't know if I can find it. But if you want to create such an image, you're just going to do, you can just do the blog, blog banner design this blog banner design, the same, the same um, uh, dimensions. You click on create a blank one, create blank. So I started by adding 
a color that is you see an attention grabbing color like i used yellow something that is attention grabbing that's a bright color you, it's your choice what you will use but for me i like to use the yellow like that so we use that and then the other thing i did was um add an image so we are talking of proofreading so i'm going to add an image related to uh reading uh reading okay like that and then let's say this question i'm answering is this proofreading so maybe i'm answering how do i become this is the question i'm answering how do i become a better proofreader so what i'm going to do is add that text here Add that text here. Mm, that. That. Okay. You can format it to become better looking. Uh, like that. And then, after you are done, you download it. When you are done, you are going to download it. Download it. Uh, we are going to it on the desktop like that and then you can now go back to Quora and answer so let's say this is the answer I want to answer here um, so well I'm answering that is uh, we want to answer here I'm going to add an image here add this image this is how how uh, how do I become a proofreader? So we're going to add that image in our answer like that. So that is that will become our featured image. It's more like a featured image which will attract the attention of people. Okay. So you then you follow up with your answer. You answer. You answer. Then you say that's the tip number one use images in your answer to make them stand out and then number two is create a space okay so Quora us what they call spaces this let me show you so Quora us what is called a space this create a space so for instance if i'm used to answering questions on affiliate marketing Every answer I answer, I can add it to a space known as affiliate marketing. So we can add a, sp a space known as affiliate marketing tips for, for beginners. Affiliate marketing tips for beginners, to add a description for it, and that and that. So the thing is, the thing is at the end of the day is, Every answer, like every answer you answer on affiliate marketing, you add to this space. So this is like a group where you consolidate same uh, ideas. Okay, like for instance, this. You see, this person. These are make money online space, WordPress hosting space, WordPress uh, theme space. So the thing is, if you look here at proofreading, if you go search proofreading here on Quora. You see, people can sort based on the questions, sort based on answers, sort based on posts, or sort based on spaces. So this is increasing your uh, your chances of being also found but when people search based on spaces. See, so like this space on proofreading, this space on dissertation, this space on... You see. So it's more of increasing your reach or the reach your answers would get on Quora, okay? So it's very advisable that you create a space. You can create a space either on proofreading courses, proofreading tools, proofreading quizzes, anything that's related to proofreading, you create different spaces such that when you create new content related to a space, you add that content to a space. So it is more like a folder where you uh, consolidate the same ideas together and the good thing is that with a space once you have a space now you can share it around like you can copy this link okay you can copy this link and then 
You can promote it on Facebook, promote it on Pinterest, promote it on Google. So even this increases your chances of your answer ranking on Google. So it's as simple as that. So that's the next tip. Make sure that you create a space or you can consolidate the same ideas together. Then the next tip is get such traffic. Uh, what, it, what, what, the, what that means is that there are times where you search a question on Google and you find that Quora is appearing. Let me show you. If I was to search, go here next. If I was to search something like that. See? Quora is appearing here. How legit is goyearnext.com? You see? So if I wanted to rank so easily on Google or get traffic, what I would do is answer Quora questions which are ranking on Google like this. So you can find such questions using a tool like Ahrefs or any keyword research tool. And so what you're going to do here is just answer the question on Quora and you will get traffic from Google. If you also search something like Gram Free, if you search something like Gram Free, um, and look down, look down, look down, there's nothing from Quora, but uh, maybe let's search something like, uh, why did he ghost me? Why did he ghost me? If you search something like that, uh, you will find that go to see whether Quora is, you see Quora is also ranking here. So the thing is take advantage of questions where Quora is already ranking on Google, answer them such that your answer will also be found by searchers on Google. Okay? Or you can just search something like how to lose weight naturally. How to use weight naturally. Okay? Look whether Quora is ranking on Google. Nothing. Or if we are promoting a proofreading course, we can say is proof read anywhere legit. Is proofread anywhere legit. And look whether the sum answers on Quora. None. Uh, we can search best proof reading courses for beginners. And search something like that. Um, nothing. So the goal is you're going to look for uh, questions where Quora is ranking on Google. What you will be doing by answering those questions is you're increasing the possibility of being found by Google users. So you're not only dependent on people who go to Quora directly, but you're going to use traffic of people who come to Quora from search engines like Google, Yahoo, or Bing, okay? And I said that you can do that using keyword research tools. And the final part is become an authority. An easy way to become an authority in Quora is, one, focus on a specific topic, okay? If you are good in WordPress hosting, only post content on WordPress. If you are good in blogging, post content on blogging. If you are good in affiliate marketing, post content on ma affiliate marketing. So niche down. That is have a specific niche. Number two, be consistent. The more answers you create on Quora, the more you increase your possibility of being found easily on Quora. Number two or number three is in-depth. Okay, Go far and beyond. For instance, if you want to answer a question on proofreading, like this one which we are answering, how do I become a proofreader? And you see the first person, the first person with this answer has written around 1,000 words, okay? So you should go far and beyond and write more than 1,000 words. So you must offer more depth information for you to rank better on Quora. So that's it, guys. The goal at the end of the day to be successful in Quora is, um, uh, if you follow those tips, you should be able to make money with affiliate marketing on Quora. So, uh, if you want more tips on affiliate marketing, I would encourage you to go to my blog, Hilda Monde. Then you're going to scroll down to this playlist. 
affiliate marketing for beginners and you're going to watch all these tips uh, like cheap sources of traffic for affiliate marketing best paper lead affiliate programs affiliate tools that made me that money how to do affiliate marketing with pinterest so you're going to watch these videos for you to gain more tips on how to make money with affiliate marketing so i believe that's the end and before i leave guys if you've not subscribed and subscribe if not turned on that notification and you want to not miss any video leave a comment ask a question give any form of feedback and then again have that thumb up to like this video or share it with someone who would find it useful so until next time bye bye from me right now